welcome back to Hilo Lux for Luxury and Style Attainable. We're doing a holiday makeup look today. I'm also sharing my like go-to beauty secrets. I mean, they're not really secrets, but kind of like the things I always do that I get a lot of questions about. Um, so I figured we would like put it all here so you can always reference this video. Um, I'm doing like an up close, in-depth lash application because I am a eyelash connoisseur. Um, I don't contour anymore, but I reverse contour, so I'm sharing that. Um, I'm sharing my um, concealer kind of hack trick um, to make sure my under eyes are always bright. Um, and they don't crease. Uh, what else? And then just like my go-to, you know, makeup. And then this really pretty monochrome holiday look. This video is in partnership with Bobbi Brown. You guys know I'm an ambassador. I work with them year round and I love all their products. And they just launched a few new products. So I'm gonna share those as well, including their Lux lipstick, which is what's on my lips, and a new eyeshadow palette for holiday collection, which is on my eyes. So let's go ahead and get into the look. Um, my shirt, I'm sure you're gonna ask, is from Farfetch. If it's still available, I'll of course link it. And I think that's everything. And my nail color, you're probably gonna ask about that. I will link it below. It's Etsy, that's usually um, what I always wear. Um, and it's like a navy color, so <laughs> I think that's everything. All right, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, queens, we are starting with a bare face and I'm gonna first go in with my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Eye Base. This is an amazing primer, moisturizer, hydrates the under eye. And this is crucial to my under eyes staying flawless and hydrated when we kind of like conceal, put our foundation, concealer on, all that jazz. Next up, I'm going to go in with the Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This is a great primer. It hydrates the skin and it's just a great primer to make sure your makeup doesn't like settle into like your fine lines or any creases. Just kind of like leaves the skin like plump hydrated, moisturized, it feels amazing. Um, and especially going into like the winter months. If you have dry skin, combination skin, I mean, even oily skin, I highly recommend this. It just feels so good. It smells good, not too fragrant, but it smells amazing. And again, it just gives you like that added moisture so that your foundation goes on top of it, super smooth, super flawless, and then doesn't get cakey throughout the day. All right, now that we have our base on, I'm going in with the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation with SPF 15. I like to just dot on the foundation in the center of my face. I've talked about this before, but that way it just blends out so easily and you don't look cakey. You don't have like a line of demarcation where the foundation kind of like stops and your skin ends. You can just kind of blend it out to the edges of your face. Do you see how flawless that blended out? I'm in shade Neutral Walnut. I feel like... They have a ton of shade ranges for this foundation and it is oil free, shine control, amazing finish, super skin like and I love that. I don't want to look too cakey. And next up we conceal. Now, this is another tip. Let the concealer dry a bit, mainly on your under eye. I'm not a fan of baking or any of that. I don't want my face to look powdery or cakey. So we just let it sit for a minute. And then I'm gonna blend out basically all of the concealer except my under eye. Because the longer we let that sit, the more coverage we're, we're gonna get without having to add a ton of powder. It's gonna give us brightness and it's gonna give us coverage. So that's what I'm doing now. Oh, also the other tip is to, um, you see the two lines on the side of my face? That's reverse contouring. Now I'm no expert, but I have stopped contouring as much because I felt it was a bit harsh, but I still wanted a little definition. So doing those two lines and kind of blending it out just kind of like pushes the cheekbones up a bit. And I like that look. Um, we're going to blend it out a little more later. So I'm still letting that under eye concealer sit and now I'm going to blend it out. And as you can see, it's, it's so much coverage. Like it's super bright under there and I'm just slowly blending it out. But that way you're not picking up as much um, concealer when you blend it out and it's kind of just like sinking into the skin. I love this trick. I'm pretty sure I learned it from Jackie, I know. Now that we've blended that out, I'm gonna just quickly dust a light powder under my eye and my T-zone. That's pretty much it. I don't set any part of my face and I don't bake at all and this just keeps the skin looking like skin. Now we're going in with a Bobbi Brown bronzing powder. I'm in shade deep. Um, and this is what I do now instead of contouring. I just find it gives my face more life. Um, and again, it's just a little more natural, but still giving me that definition and kind of like 
giving uh, dimension to my face, which is really important after you put on foundation because you kind of just look flat. You look all one color, so you kind of got to get the de definition back in the face. And I just prefer to do this with bronzing powder now, which before I used to think that like, I don't know, people, my shade didn't bronze or there was no shades dark enough, but this one is perfect. And don't worry, we're gonna do some more blending with just like that foundation brush. So you can see there, this is the Bobbi Brown foundation brush. And I like to just kind of melt everything together. That brush didn't have anything on it. All right, finally to the eyes. I'm going in with the Golden Illusion eyeshadow palette. This is new. And I'm gonna use the colors Playful Red, Red Rock, and Modern Symphony. But before we do, we need to set our base. And I love using the long wear cream shadow sticks. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Cinnamon. It kinda is like this orangey tone and it's gonna give us a good base so that our eyeshadow stays all day. So this is super easy. I just like to swipe these across my lid and I blend them out with my fingers, super easy. But you can see the color, like the pigment is super bright. And again, it's just gonna lay down a nice foundation for the eyeshadow to stick to. All right, now that we have our base, I'm going in with the eyeshadow palette and this is Red Rock. And I'm kind of just sweeping this all over my lid um, just to, again, cover the whole lid, give us a good base. And it's sticking to that um, cream shadow stick that we put on. So it's really popping. And I love doing these type of looks around the holidays because it's kind of festive, but it's also like kind of cool. Look how the color looks amazing. But it's also like not too much. Um, I like this kind of like rust burnt orange red kind of look as opposed to like a super vibrant red that would just feel too like Christmassy. So again, I'm just patting that into my eyelid and kind of sweeping it all over the entire lid. And because we're not a professional, I like to always go back with just like clean brushes and blend. There's, blending is your friend. <laughs> and I always just try to like go back over anything I do and just blend it out a little extra because that's just how you make everything look flawless. We're blending some more. So I'm just kind of like going over my face again and just making sure everything melts together. Okay, now I'm going in with Playful Red from that same eyeshadow palette. And this has a little bit of sparkle in it and I'm just doing it on the inner corner of my eye and kind of like right to the middle. So really just making sure like the center to the inner corner of my eye is super sparkly and shiny and I'm just focusing that color there to really make it pop. And you can see, I kind of prefer to just like tap the color in instead of sweeping it. I just find that you get more kind of like color payoff that way. So, and now I'm just using this fluffy brush to blend everything out. Blending is our friend. Um, so I'm just kind of like diffusing the color to that um, inner corner and just making sure there's no harsh lines. Now I'm going in with the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. This is a major key before lash application. Obviously, if you have natural lashes or just great lashes, this is enough. I love it because it's not clumpy. It defines your lashes. Um, it gives them like a slight curl, but it's just not too much. It doesn't look clumpy or any of that. But I apply this also before lashes because it just gives them something to stick to. This is a major key. I always get asked about this. Now we're going in with highlighter, and this is honestly the only highlighter I use, just Bobbi Brown in general. I'm using Bronze Glow here, but it's just the perfect sheen. And that's kind of like how I like to describe it because it's not chunky, it is natural. It just gives you like a little glow when you turn. It's just kind of like a little hint, a little glimmer. Again, it's not super fake looking or just like too metallic-y. It's just like a nice sheen to your skin and just it makes it look like you are glowing. I always get that a lot. You're glowing, you're glowing. This is the only kind of like highlighter that I ever use. It's from Bobbi Brown. They just, they know how to do it right. <laughs> now it's time for lips and we have another new product. This is from Bobbi Brown and it's the Luxe Defining Lipstick. It's obviously so cute, but I'm also doing a monochrome look. You could, of course, they have like nudes and more subtle colors, but I really wanted to, you know, be a little extra here. So I'm using the shade Red Illusion and I absolutely love it. I didn't need a liner, but of course you can use one, but I just prefer to go right in. And it is super hydrating. You can see it's not matte um, and it's not shiny, but it's kind of like, I don't know, just a natural finish, I guess. Um, but it looks really pretty and I just thought it looked really nice with the eyes. And you're also gonna see me um, mix another shade in here because I just like that ombre kind of look. But for now, we're going in with Red Illusion. 
now it's time for my favorite part, the lashes. My look is just not complete without lashes. And the makeup tip here is to let the glue dry some. You need the glue to be tacky. That's how it looks so easy when people apply lashes. They need to be somewhat tacky. It's a very fine line. They can't be too dry because then they won't stick at all. Um, but they cannot be wet. They will be slipping and sliding all over the place. So you can see me here. I've already, like this glue was on here when I was applying the mascara. So it's already been sitting for a little while and I'm kind of fanning it just to make sure. And I suggest taking a mirror and looking down because that just helps you see your lash line better. Trust me, those are my two tips for lashes. Let it dry and also get a small mirror and look down into it as you apply the lash and just push it into the lash line. And there, that's it. This was me applying it start to finish. I didn't cut the camera. That's how easy it is, but it's because it's tacky. So as soon as you sit it on there, it just sticks and you can kind of take your time to push it in and make sure it's nice and secure without it. Trust me, I've had my lashes slipping and sliding when they're not dry. So major tip. <laughs> okay, we're repeating the same steps with the other eye. Patience, <laughs> make sure it's dried down at least 60 to 70% of the way. Make sure the glue is somewhat tacky. You can even touch it to double check. And literally you just kind of sit it on there and then take your time to really just press it in and use that mirror to kind of check all the corners and see if you have any gaps and keep pressing. And now the final piece is another long wear cream shadow stick in shade golden bronze. And I just love these for like highlighting my inner corner. It's just kind of like the, the final piece to any look. I like a little inner corner highlight. I also got that from Jackie, but it just makes your eyes look bright and awake and alert. And here you can see me going back in with that um, additional shade of lipstick. Cause I just, I like an ombre effect. This is Violet Vision and it's kind of like a pinkish color, which would make a really pretty nude on its own, I think. But I really like the combination with the red. You can see like it just, I feel like it tied in the eyes a little better and kind of like match the eyeshadow a little more. All right, queens, that was my video. I hope you enjoyed the holiday makeup look and I hope you learn and I hope you picked up some of my tips and tricks on like kind of like my go-to makeup I, I hope you picked up some helpful tips, uh, kind of like on the things I do on a daily basis or whenever I do my makeup. Um, of course, I will link all of the Bobbi Brown products below in the order that they were shown. So the order I used them in the video is the order they will be below. And I'll include like my shades and all that as well if you guys use me as a reference. I think that's everything. Also, let me know what videos you want to see coming up. I'm like 80% sure I'm gonna do Luxmas. Um, and for me, if you are new here, um, that basically means I will do Monday through Friday a video every day. Uh, I need the weekends off. <laughs> um, even that is a lot, five videos a week is still a lot, but I can manage it. Um, this will be my third year doing Luxmas. And the first year I tried to just do videos every day too much um and then last year i did like monday through friday and that's pretty doable um so i'm pretty sure that's what i'm gonna do so leave any suggestions below is my point because we have a lot of videos to film um but i hope you enjoyed this i stuck around to the end make sure you check out bobby brown you guys know i love them check out all my favorites below in the description box i think that's everything thanks for stopping by see ya